This is Nagin Farsad. I am Isaac Mizrahi, and you are about to watch us make this beautiful tomato sauce. So exciting. So many tomatoes. Too many tomatoes, not enough time. Which is what my grandmother always used to say. Do you like tomato sauce? It's interesting that you, you should ask like if I like tomato sauce because I feel like tomato sauce is just like a part of the American firmament. But I don't think anyone even has real opinions. You know you what know, I'm saying? You just go to a store and you buy a jar of tomato jar sauce? Yes. Darling, wait, should I show you how to blanch a tomato? I would love to All blanch right, a tomato. Because you start with these beautiful tomatoes mm -hmm. from your local farm stand, please. Or if you go to like Citarelle and you pay $100 for them. Or just like go to the CVS and just grab <laughs> like a Shrunk tomato. Shrunk wrap. You know, from well, their little lunch section. So we're going to immerse this into water, right? We're blanching. We're blanching the tomato. How about you? The water, the water is boiling. And then this should be easy to peel, right? So you see, you blanch the tomato yeah. for, for a minute and then you peel it and then you, you would just kind of chop it roughly. That's the yeah. great thing about the re recipe is you don't have to do a lot of fancy chopping. I chopped up, that would be about, I would say five to six large to medium-sized tomatoes in red and yellow. <laughs> so that's really specific, right? <laughs> so I have this many yeah. tomatoes, you know? Can I tell you something sure. about how my mom cuts vegetables? Yes. So you know how you're using a cutting board? Iranian women, at least the ones in my family, cut in the air, like against their hands. Oh, of course hands. they do. Honey, all women, all women over a certain age. Wild. I know, it's a crazy and thing. And also, and she's never cut herself. She's literally putting no, her knife she... right into her palm and it doesn't get Darling, there. Darling, if she used the cutting board, she would cut herself. Yeah. By the way, does she have big nails and jewelry and bangles? I mean, she's got, she's yeah, Iranian. she's carrying she has, gold yes. bars, like right, right on each finger. There's a separate gold bar. Mine too, and they have bangles and they make all the noise. The noise. The bracelets, she, the I mean, noise. she wakes up and puts on a full face just to go, Of course, to, just you to know. go. Like, by the way, I did notice, speaking of full face, Nagin always has a very crisp kind of lip liner moment. You do use lip liner, don't you? No, this is just a, like a strong lipstick. It's a, it's a strong <laughs> lipstick. Wow, I love that. And, no, and it's funny because on sets, you know, when, when, when actual makeup people do it, they yes. do the full lip. And I feel like I look like a clown with the full lip, so I can't handle it. That's great. I, I love that. That's my favorite thing. Or like a drag queen. Which you'd be, you'd be doing overdrawing. Right, 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 right. That's what I feel like. I feel like I look like I'm about to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to You're be a trying drag queen. trying to be Bob the Drag Queen. Exactly. exactly. Right, okay. The other thing I adore about you, darling, you have these natural eyebrows that are so chic. Don't let anyone touch those eyebrows. Thank you, you so listen much. to me. Thank you, you so much. You listen to Brooke Shields, darling. Bit, Remember Brooke was, Shields? Who was the famous old man with eyebrows? that was from the like who he was old in like the 90s but Eugene like Levy? Oh, oh maybe, Eugene maybe Levy. Was he's not he's he got... a, a young and a, attractive man uh or whatever he is? <laughs> I, I don't wow. mean to say it that way i just don't mean to um, call he's just he's not old to me but he does but yeah eugene levy eyebrows is what how i about have about dan levy eyebrows because dan has some oh eyebrows he also has well. some eyebrows yeah not like eugene <laughs> but Somehow I want, he missed I, that. I want to do a, like an eyebrow photo comparison between me and the Levies. And you see should. That would be a good, that would, there's a podcast there's idea. A, an entire podcast on eyebrows. So a little what, what are we looking at right now? We're looking at fresh oregano, which fresh I should oregano. have brought for my garden, but I forgot. So, so we're using just like we're using garbage like store-bought oregano. Cinderella Whoa. oregano. Okay. I know. Kind of. Wow, you are. <laughs> give you an inch, honey. Give you an inch. You are so like left-wing sort of herbalist, right? Oh, she oh, is like, I'm going to come for... Only. Exactly. I would love to do a study. Here's another podcast idea. A study of whether or not our herbs are polluted or they're just fine. You know what I mean? They're not just fine. You don't even have to do the study. I can tell you immediately. Oh, do you... They're just as fucked up as every other thing in this world. Oh, you think, how does yeah. how do herbs escape being fucked well, yeah, up like when the entire what's race is fucked up? Monsanto or yeah, your balcony? Yeah, totally. Wait, can I tell you something? No, your balcony is safer than Monsanto, uh, yeah. for sure. But the thing I was going to say is like, you know, um, they discovered, I'm not kidding, in my area in Long Island, uh -huh. was always the sort of the farm Hampton-y place right. and they discovered that the water is so polluted 
from so many years of like, you know, chemicals in the crops, yeah. it seeped into the water. Yeah. So now you can't use well water. You are not permitted to use well water in that part of the Hamptons and you have to use... Like filtered? No, um, what is it called? Reservoir. They have a reservoir oh, oh, water. Oh. But then I think, well, excuse me, reservoir water, you get that from rain. So how fucked up is rain? Pretty fucked up. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. We can't so. escape it. I mean, have you ever, I mean, with all of these feelings, have you ever thought of just like completely living off the grid? No, yeah, I have never. never. Because you know what? If I can't see every Broadway play, <laughs> and hate the show and hate it and come back and say that was terrible don't go i'm not then happy. you're not okay? living yeah, yeah, you're not yeah, living. yeah 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 all right so now guess what i'm gonna heat this pan right with some olive oil and by the way i don't know how much olive oil it's like just a vague a a, just a vague amount a big nice dollop of olive oil Let if i can open if the I, thing i'm pretty good at kind of telling so that's I'm gonna what say you're that doing. was a third third, third of, of a cup. cup third of a cup you that's know what, what? That, is. that was a third of a cup Thank you, you got it because if I was reading a recipe book, my it would spatial be a third of a cup. Uh, measurement recognition is. Um, do you cook? Self-proclaimed really good. Um, do I cook? Not really. No, but somehow you can tell when a third well, of a because, cup of olive oil is laid down. Because my the pan. mom, the way she cooks, is she'll just be like, uh, "You put a finger, you want this <laughs> right, finger exactly. amount." You know what I mean? It's like yes. that kind of vague. And by the way, you put your you put your finger in a burning right, hot oil, so just and then hot it's fine. Oil yeah, exactly. And just so you can mesh. That's how I do it. Okay, this is how we do. All us old Iranian ladies do it that way. <laughs> All right, and now into the oil, I'm just going to add some hot chili flakes because oh, you want to get that nice and. And you know, this is by the way, if you don't like hot chili flakes. Don't use hot chili flakes, but I think it gives it a depth of flavor. Yeah, Not even yeah, to make yeah. it hot, but just to make it deeply delicious, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Now we're going to put in some shallots, which, by the way, this this is the special thing about this recipe, this tomato sauce. It doesn't have onions; it just has shallots and garlic. Big deal! But it's really delicious. You'll see, it's like yeah, yeah. light and Little heavenly. It's sweeter delicious. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that goes in there. Beautiful, right? That's a lot of tomatoes for that little pan, but sorry, it's going to have to work. Is it, it going to be over tomato? I just tomatoed? realized I probably should have used a bigger pan. Too late. It'll fit, darling. You know, and then tomatoes notoriously shrink. They do. Those notorious tomatoes, right? Okay. So you get them down to like this, right? Okay. So they're soft-ish, and they're, they have a little bit of, you know, the color is not even the thing, but yeah, because now you know they're like sort of roasted yeah. a little bit or caramelized yeah. just a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then add your garlic. It's, it's a goodly amount of garlic. Goodly. I'd say that's like seven cloves of garlic. Yes. And the tomatoes mm. just go in, right? Yeah. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of tomatoes. I think it's too many tomatoes, but it's fine because it'll be delicious. So the thing about tomatoes, mm -hmm. it needs like so much salt. Okay. It needs a lot Why? of salt. Why? Why? Because they have no, like you just need oh, to right. salt. They just don't have anything hell. going. Yeah. Right. You need to this keep salting. So we just salt a lot. This okay. This, right? This is so elegant. We're going to do this and, you know, stir it up, mix it up, right? And then the other thing this is going to need at some point, I'm not exactly sure when, a little teensy bit of sugar. Yeah. You will need a little sugar to make yeah. tomatoes. It's yeah. always going to be, no matter what, no matter how sure. sweet your tomatoes are, you will need a little bit of sugar. There is a company called Rao that makes their A company? Sauce. Darling, do you mean Rao's in Harlem where you need to go? Because no, no, the restaurant, I know, which I've never been. And it's the same, it is the same company. Oh, it Trust is? Me. Yes. So apparently, they put no sugar in their sauce. I don't mean to offend you by saying that. I'm just mentioning it for the record. Well, some people are just so perfect, okay? <laughs> hey, don't fuck with me, Nagini. No, I... What the hell? Did I even know what I, knew, I was expecting when I, I got this bitch? I knew that that was gonna to... be. <laughs> what the hell? Someone talk to her. Someone talk to her. Hey, listen, darling. So you know the thing. The other thing about tomato sauce yeah. is it needs a little bit of reduction. So this is going to take a second. I'm just going to look how much. Look how much oh, sugar. It's barely anything. I bet you Rouse doesn't count that, and that's why they that's say why there's why no they, sugar. Oh, I see. She's trying to, ba trying to walk back. backwards. She's trying walking back. backwards. There it is. Right, it's just a little a kiss of that. Okay. Yes. I'm just going to take this off now, and we'll just do it. Okay, we'll do it. It's still a little bit watery. Do you ever spoon out water? Is no, that no, 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 that's no. Because okay. that's like you're spooning out like eventual flavor. Oh, gotcha. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, so now this is hot stuff, so be careful, okay? okay? This is a disaster that needs to not happen now, okay? okay? It is, it's like, it is like oh, boiling. Oh, wait a minute. I totally forgot. Sorry. 
Sorry, sorry, I totally forgot the herbs. You're gonna put in some oregano. Just like a little couple of bun, you, couple of little handfuls. Weirdly, you can get too much oregano and then you can really load up on the basil. You wanna taste these things yeah. in the sauce enough. Yeah. Not too much and not too little. So that is, trust me, that is not too much basil. So now all this, maybe in two batches, we'll see, goes into the blender, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get this here. Beautiful. So far, no disasters. It's really scary because this is very, very hot. So here we go. You ready? And you do it it's slowly. It's not plugged in. Oh, it's, oh, nice. Plugged in. Okay. That, thank you, Nagin. Okay. Let's see, because let me put my glasses on. By the way, do you have kitchen glasses? This because I do. And then I'll forget them. And they and really, be... and they have their own little, like, little bed. <laughs> they have their own little bed, folks. They really do, though. I can't believe you saw that. Okay, wait a minute. So we're blending, blending, blending. And not food processing. I think this is a blender, darling. This is a full-on, yeah. you want this to be a puree. That should be enough. And then the other thing that I do at this point is I use just a little teeny, teeny, tiny bit of vinegar. Just like a little I kiss. I like a, a tablespoon like a and a half. teaspoon, I think. A teaspoon. Not even a tablespoon. Okay. It was not a tablespoon. Do you like rinse a pan before you use it? Because I do. I'm no. always afraid the person, the person who cleaned the pan, like the cleaner of the yeah. house, or my husband Arnold, who's gay, yeah. might have not rinsed the pan. Is, that, is there trust issues between you and my Arnold? My husband and I, darling, we are the happiest couple you have ever met in your life. I am so pleased to say that. That's awesome, because I'm surrounded a lot by, by parents of young children, because I have a young children. Right. You do? I do. What oh, were yeah. you thinking? What I are you, know. crazy, Nikina? I know. My straight husband and I, um, <laughs> pro we procreated. Um, and I make it sound like that happened through fucking. It didn't because I had to do IVF. Fine. But let's pretend. Right. And um, I feel like I'm around a lot of couples of young children who are probably... And I think this has actually been documented by sociologists. Some of the most unhappy people are couple are couples of young children because young children are just like total maniacs. So this could reduce a lot. Like okay. You could give that an hour, right. but we don't have an hour, mm. right? Oh, so yeah. should we add a little bit of the black so. pepper yeah. now? We should have added it before, but it was really good when we tasted the base. You were busy right? insulting me, so it's kind of like <laughs> cleaning, cleaning up, up beautiful. Bye -bye, I'm not bye -bye, helping. I'm just sort of standing bye -bye. here. I'm going to throw the pasta into the water. Beautiful. Boom. That's all. Okay, great. So then what's, you're pulling out a saran wrap. No, Is I'm not. It's a process? fresh one. It's a fresh one. No, a they fresh just make, saran wrap. They make saran wrap to torture people. I swear to you, I don't understand it because it's such a good product. Yeah. It's so necessary yeah. in one's world, but they torture you. The, dispensation of saran wrap in this world, darling. I don't know what that, that is, because it used to be a lot easier. You Wait, you're saying that saran wrap technology has gotten worse over time, It has better? gotten worse. Hey, saran, hey, Monsanto, listen to me, you know? I'm complaining about a few things here. So how long do these? They like take like 10 to 13 minutes. By the way, notice I'm like putting things away. I'm oh, like putting so things good. away. Oh, what, what, yeah. do you need to put your glasses we on will, their bed? We will, we will. Okay. <laughs> on, their, on their eyeglass bed? Well, it's not exactly a bed, but it's it is a, a little caddy a little... with a cleaner because you know you can't clean glasses without it's a the cleaner. Okay, sustainable so... material bamboo bed exactly. with a little tiny exactly. mattress exactly. on I'm it. Exactly. I'm so glad that you actually give me credit for the sustainable bamboo, darling. Were I'm you, a little you, nervous because I forgot to salt the water for the pasta, so that was our first disaster. Okay. What does the salt do in that situation? It just, I've I actually wondered. was tasting, and it makes the pasta into something besides mm, just gross. Just pasta, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you don't salt the water, it's just not going to work. So then, did you salt it late, or you? Just I salted didn't... it late, and okay. I don't know what I don't know what the consequences are. Right. For that, we'll see now. I'm going to taste it again. See if we actually get some taste out again, of this. Again, I'm prepared to act like it tastes great. What do you think? See, it has no taste. A little. How about if I give it one more minute? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, so now in these go, right? Beautiful. This is a lot of sauce for these noodles, but this is going to be delicious. I mean, We're going to give this a minute really to good. finish in the pan. Wait, now here, because <laughs> let's taste this. All right. What about this cheese? How am I supposed to grate this damn cheese? But it's, it's all about the it's cheese. It's happening. Oh, here we go. There it is. Oh. 
A little bit of that. Nice. Right. Will you taste it or Okay. Well, I don't know if I was supposed if to wait sucks, for you. Because if it sucks, then I just want you to tell me it's really bad. Okay. Well, I'm not going to, you know, as we've established. <sighs> I don't know. No, but you will tell me. You can tell me on camera one thing and off camera another okay. thing. Okay. <laughs> Ready? I think that's delicious. That is crazy, right? It's so good. It's really mm. good. 